Welcome along to another episode on having the crack. We're back on the Land Rover LS swap. It's taken a bit of a while to get to this point to make another video on it because we've been waiting for, oh, for an absolute age for different bits from various places. We've got them all up together now, so we've actually managed to put another video together. So without further ado, let's crack on. Right, we've got the, the new axle to go in the LS Land Rover. It's from a Transit. It's Jack's preferred method of setup. Seems to do the trick on the on the V8 Transit, so we're going for it again. What you gotta to do to it to get it ready to go in? Uh, I gotta cut the top leaf spring hangers off, cut the shock rip mounts off, yeah. bear it all down, and then find somewhere I wanna cut four and a half inches out of this side, four and a half off of that side, shorten it up, weld it back together. Yeah. And then get me in shafts cut off, shortened, and re it back together. And then weld the diff up, make the watts link up for the diff. Four link it and I'm ready to go back in. I am cutting the floor out so I can get to the axle. And um and um I don't really know what I'm doing to be fair, I'm just uh, going down to investigate how much rust is underneath this bit of aluminium. Floor's out. What's Floor's it like? Out. What's it like? Bloody! <laughs> what is it? Bloody! What is it? We're gonna be chucking 550 horse through this. <laughs> Are you getting in? Absolutely not. Nope. No, mate. No. Uh, the closest we'll get is GoPro footage, mate. <laughs> comes the axle, the old axle out. She be. That was easy job, right? <laughs> they are, right? You've come for the easy part. That was the easy bit. How have you, uh, there isn't a ramp in, where did you manage to get a Land Rover on that way? Uh, small, small, wee little hydraulic arm I got. Ah! All of the tools for the job. transit axle back underneath and we have a conundrum stop okay. taking pictures <laughs> right conundrum is original plan was to cut four inches out the axle either side so the wheels would fit but Jack seems to like it <laughs> as is I do yes main problem is that I got covered a tire of some description so yeah our little conundrum now is do we shorten the axle or would we just make some wide arches and keep it as it is? I quite like it. The problem is it's daft to the front. Yeah, the front. We have to do something with the front. So we've decided to go down the shorten the axle route, which is originally planned. Cut there. That little line. Yeah. And then that little line there. Yeah. And I'm drawing that one back to that one and chuck that bit away. Yeah. And then that from there to there should be the stick out past the Land Rover arch if I'm getting it right. It's if, all a, it's all a bit mathematical. It is for me. All all of the uh, all of the lasers, the CAD drawings, and all that stuff for this has been pulled out of the bag, haven't they? <laughs> <laughs> now. Standard having the crack weight, tape measure, angle grinder, welder, until it goes. There's an escort van running around that's perfect, and there's a trans out there that's working fine, so that's all I can say to There you. is method to the madness.
If you do try this at home, please make sure you wear goggles, Your hard hat, ears, gloves, gloves, long and, sleeve tops, and some kind of guard on the on the thing. Oh no, I see. Just wear your fingers down, like. Where bar? Here, like, as you can see, like, see, like, catch them on the nail and stuff. Where is it? Whereabouts is it? There. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, very good. <laughs> He's give up, he's gone for the full PPE. <laughs> right, Dennis Taylor. Who? Dennis Taylor. Snooker player. He used to have his glasses on upside down. No, don't watch those sort of stupid sports. Got no, no engine no. or wheels on it. No, true. Uh, uh, and here's the one I prepared earlier. Blue Peter Merman. done that. Um, what we've done is as you've seen from the other side, we've cut the end off, then we've uh, cut that bit out of there, Bumped him out. and then grind the two ends on 45s, <coughs> like that, and leaving just flat edge around the middle, the inside bit, so that when you button back together, I got something square to go against, and then I can fill all the holes in. Just like that. Square, you say? Square, anyone, no comment. Is anyone gonna be square? It's amateur hour, this is. <laughs> what do you expect when you're using a grinder? So, same out of this side, and then 45 that side up. Yeah, chop that through that line, 45 this side, 45 that side. And weld it all back together. Clean the shavings out and weld it back together. Right down here. Going in, you know it's going in. Right, if you shuffled your down to your 45 degrees. Some description, yeah. Give or give or take a few I'm percent. 45 degrees tapered. 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 Give or take the angle of the grinder and how bored I got off grinding. So now let's weld it back together. Thumb it along those lines, see if we can get it straight. Yeah. They're a mess out for the best. Axle welded. Done. Oh, she's a beaut. Just gotta put some diamonds on it for the four link. Yeah. Uh, Watts link. Watts link. And there is, oh, and some shocker brackets. Making four link boxes. Explain. Expand. You add this bit into the vehicle, you put one of these in here, and you put another one down here. Yeah. And the rods go back to the axle, and then you link them up. Four link. Hold back axle and stop it moving around. Beautiful. Well, backwards forwards, not side to side. That's what the watts link is going to do next. Go to moles, yeah. as you can see here. Two fit set bolts in through. Yeah. Because this does a lot of work. It actually holds the suspension and stuff in place. Uh, now this doesn't fit here because it's not wide enough, so we're just going to cut it down through there, bash it out, and put this in, nut and bolt it, weld it, and then it'll be wide enough. Job done. Just like that. So, there we go, I can see the bits in there. So how have you, what have you, how have you made it? I have cut some bits here, welded some parts, cut a few more bits here, welded some bits and bolt some parts off my girl's motorsport. So that's the four link that side. Yeah, we had a, we had a cradle made for there. Yeah. Um, then I had this one made up to hold the nut in place at the back, to hold the centre of the watts link. Yeah. And this one made round the front to stop it all pivoting. And breaking everything else so it's fixed both sides i got a double the bearing up in the middle to stop the that bit moving like that and yeah and then this one goes over there that one goes over there and that all goes up and down straight and you've got and straight yourself, and it don't go side to side and then you've got yourself a pot link
See the, uh, the technical way of making sure everything's centered up, shall we? So you've got level and wheel. Take Provide, measure. Providing wheel's not bent, it's all right. And providing the lamp rear is not straight. So this is this is the way of making sure everything's level. And the, and the floor's definitely level anyway, isn't it? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that? the axle out. You pulled the axle back out, why? Uh, a bit of strengthening really. Let's go! Strengthen me four link up, me diamonds, like yeah. that. Stop them bending at the tops. Do the same the other side. Uh, plus it'll be a bit extra so that I can plant the... Shocker's onto it. Shock absorber bracket. And triangulate the shocker in there to stop that ripping off. So I'll come from there up to there with a bit of flat and weld some triangles into there. Yeah. We've got up the bar in there, to there. Yeah. One from there to there. Yeah. We've got one from there to there. To so join the other one across. The only downside is I won't be able to get my hay bales in for the cheap. Worse and prosier! We've just finished doing the strengthening plates on the back of the diamonds, so axles now back in. Uh, I've made uh, some bits here to hold the springs up so that it holds the lamb railer up in the air. And yep. The shockers work. Um, I've made what's link up on the back of the uh, differential. Get a better view of it under there. That's, that's to stop it falling from side to side and stuff to keep the axle central. Yeah. Um, I've got a lot more rust out of the vehicle. So it's still patching up rust holes so I keep finding. We're just going through the chassis legs now. Yeah. When you say uh, you're going through the chassis legs, what do you mean? What have you done? I have um, had to do some small reinforcements. This has got some big old plates on there. Down through here, see, like that, all the way along the chassis leg. Yeah. Because it was very thin like tissue paper. He's done both sides, so he's just welded a three mil plate all the, the way top. through. Yes, because the trouble was, as I was um, jacking it up the other day, yeah, I noticed that the doors were moving around. <laughs> as I was jacking it, the truck was bending in half. As in, the door was coming across onto the... Yeah, yeah, this, this door was over here somewhere. Oh, that's no good, is it? Uh, no, so... Um, it's much better now, but, you know. It's, well, it's better than, better than it was. At least yeah. the doors open and close. Uh, you can just see, yeah, see. a bit of reinforcements over there. And you come all the way up through. Beautiful. So, so now i got to remake the gearbox mount and stuff. Because you've disturbed so, everything. Yes. As you can see, it's all the way through there as well. Mm. I'm not saying it's right, but you know. It's, it's stronger. It's better. It's better. Better. That is it for this episode on the old LS Land Rover swap. The engine is in. But that's for the next video. Make sure you like, share and subscribe.